welcome to D. Levine. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell. That way YouTube will notify you every single time I put out a new video. I'm back, y'all, and I'm so happy to be uploading on this channel regularly again. Um, today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my worst luxury purchases. Honestly, I feel like some of these I'm gonna mention, it's not like I don't like them, but I don't know. Obviously, I'll explain why I include them in this video. Um, I didn't really have much. It was kind of hard for me to even pick some items out that I considered my worst luxury purchases because everything that I didn't like, I've already probably sold at one point. But honestly, I don't really end up I don't really regret many purchases, so I guess that's a good thing, but nonetheless, these are items for sure that I probably wouldn't or won't repurchase. Um, so I hope you guys find this video helpful and let's get started. And oh y'all, aren't y'all so glad it is fall? Like I feel good like wearing like this roughly, I feel like the lighting might like wash it all out, um, but it's so cute. It's like this oversized ruffle sweater. I got it on sale too, y'all. I love it, it's so cute. I think I got it from Zara, either Zara or H&M. I think it was Zara, I don't know. Anyways, all right, let's get into the video. Okay, so the very first item that I'm gonna share with you guys is actually what inspired me to do this video because I feel like out of all the things that I'm gonna share with you guys, these I literally really do despise and do not like at all. And they are these Chanel, I guess you would call them what, like the ballerina flats. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's showing up on camera like right here, but of course I'll do close ups for you guys. Long story short, I got these Chanel ballerina flats and honestly, when I buy things, I usually wait a little bit to wear them. I don't know why, it's just been a habit of mine. I'm not saying it's like a good thing or bad thing. I feel like there's pros and cons to both. But when I, I remember when I first tried these on in the store, you know, I felt like they were comfortable. I walked around in them. And so I was like, hmm, like these feel like comfortable. I've seen reviews on these flats and how they're really comfortable. Um, of course it was like the leather one. So maybe I was totally off on, I shouldn't have chosen this particular material, but y'all, okay. I paid over $1,100 for these flats and y'all, I finally stepped out in them and wore them today and when I put them on, I noticed that one of the shoes was a different color. So it's like yellow. And I know that it wasn't like that when I bought it because it's so obvious that one is discolored. And I have no idea like why it is like that because like it's stored in my closet just like any of my other shoes are luxury and non-luxury and like, I don't know, I don't know why, like they weren't covered in a box for a long time. They're literally just sitting on my shelf like all the other shoes. And I feel like if it was like some sort of thing, like a storage issue, why didn't this shoe turn yellow as well? Like, I don't know, it's like a yellow tint to it. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so upset at this. And I feel like this is like my first, very first and only bad Chanel experience that I've had. And yeah, I've been like so annoyed and frustrated with these all day today, especially since it was my first time wearing them out and I feel like they're just so ruined and like, ugh. Like I guess, I guess you can't really tell as much um, when they're on your feet and unless someone's like really just staring at my feet. But I notice them and for the price tag and how much these cost, I feel like they should not do this like so i don't know i just it really just sucks it really sucks because i don't like to buy things that don't last and look like this i feel like this shoe looks terrible you guys and i really hope the close-ups show just how terrible this right shoe looks and another thing uh, before moving on to the next one are these are so uncomfortable. I literally, my toes were dying after like an hour. So I don't know what I felt when I tried them on in the store, they seem fine, but like after an hour of wearing these, my toes hurt so bad. 
Um, so that was another thing. So I don't think, I feel like I'm scarred for life on the, like the ballerina. I don't know if I'll even ever try the leather ballerina flats. Um, I'm not even sure if that's exactly what they call them, but y'all know it's the same type of shoe, but all leather. Um, let me know down below if you guys own these, what your experience has been, but mine have been absolutely terrible. This is honestly the worst luxury purchase I've ever, I've ever had. Yeah ever had because it just it, they did not last long and for the price like I wanted these to be like timeless next but, yeah. worst purchase um is another pair of Chanel shoes it is I don't even know what these are called I got them years ago and I I I don't know I forgot what they were called but you can't really tell that they're Chanel unless you see like it's on the the tongue of the, sh the shoe it has the big cc's but it's kind of like it's not noticeable at all. I'll do a close up, but that's the only place it has like the logo. I do love how understated they are. And the look is kind of like, I got them because they were, they just look so different and like funky and just, you don't see this shoe every day. Um, but I would not repurchase because I just don't wear them that much. I find them kind of like hard to style, even though they're like such a neutral shoe. Um, or maybe it's just me, like I just don't know how to style these and I, I I just like them for how different they are, but they just don't really go with my usual style. Um, so yeah, I don't think I will ever, I know I won't ever buy another pair like these, but yeah, I don't know. I'm totally gonna have to start planning my outfits and wearing these things because I literally don't want it sitting in my closet. But Again, like I said, it's not that I don't like these. I actually like the style a lot. Um, I just need to stop being lazy and, and put it to use. But knowing that it doesn't really go with much of my style, I will not be repurchasing these. Next worst purchase it is uh, my, yeah, my last pair of shoes that I'm gonna share. They are these Gucci slides. They are so adorable, so cute, you guys, but I feel like the wear and tear is terrible. I haven't even worn, like, I feel like for as much as I've worn them, I, and I've worn them quite a few times, but not enough to wear, like the wear and tear, I feel like it looks like I've worn them way more than I have. And they're also actually really uncomfortable for slides. I feel like slides are usually really comfortable. Like my Valentino slides are really comfortable and these are just not, they're not. Um, I don't know what happened. I feel like in the beginning they were, but I guess since I've worn them a few times, like this front part has gotten thinner. And so I don't know if that affect like the overall comfort of the shoe because I feel like they used to be comfortable and they're just not comfortable on me anymore. So yeah, it kind of sucks, but luckily it wasn't like a huge, it wasn't very expensive. I believe these were like 300 bucks or 310 or something like that. Um, but again, it is still a few hundred dollars um, and I thought they would be more durable and they're totally not. And while I'm on Gucci, I will also add this Gucci, uh, I believe it's the mini camera bag. And I love, like, here's the thing. I love this bag, but I do wish that I would have gotten the Gucci Ophidia mini instead because I feel like that's more of like a classic look of Gucci. Well not think it is. Um or I wish I could have I would have gotten it in the Gucci Soho because I just feel like those two are more like classic pieces of Gucci. Although honestly I don't really consider too many Gucci doesn't have like anything that I consider like super truly classic in my in my opinion. Um, which is why like the Gucci Marmont bags, like I love that style, but I just feel like, I don't know, something tells me it's just like a huge trend and it's gonna go away in a couple years, which is why I got the Gucci Marmont Super Mini, where the I didn't have to pay like that hefty price tag. I'm okay with paying what the Super Mini was. It was like under a thousand dollars and if it goes out of style, then so what? Like, that's fine. But to drop like over two grand or three grand on a Gucci Marmot flat bag that I know that's gonna go out of style, no thank you. And who knows, maybe it won't, but I just think they will. But yeah, that's why I 
kind of, yeah, I kind of regret getting this bag, even though I like it and I do wear it um, sometimes. I just wish I would have gotten it in another style, um, like the Gucci Ophidia or the Gucci Disco Soho. Circling back to Chanel, I've realized I need to just stick with like their classic flaps or something when it comes to Chanel. I don't know. But it is this um, metallic silver with the ruthenium hardware Chanel. I believe it's called the Short Wallet. Uh, let's see. Small. It's called the Small Wallet. And I don't know. It's just something about this style and this size I don't really care for. I feel like it looks kind of, I don't know, odd. Tell me what you guys think about it. I mean, I will never get rid of it though because I do have the matching classic flap that goes with this. Um, but I never use this wallet. Um, I need to because, yeah, I don't want to waste it. And I know I'll never get rid of it because I have the matching bag. But honestly, I wish I would have gotten the card holder. I just feel like this size is just an awkward size. Like, I feel like it's... It's not a big wallet, but it's definitely not a small wallet. So I feel like I can't really put it in too many, like I can't put it in my super, super small bags. And then for my super big bags, I would rather like my, a full size wallet. Whereas this is a full size wallet, but I don't know. I just feel like the size is just awkward. Am I making sense you guys or am I not? It's okay if I'm not, it's late y'all. But I was just so riled up about those midi ballerina flats that I was like, okay, no, I gotta film this video right now to express my frustration. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see myself ever buying a Chanel small wallet again. I love the look of their card holders and I like their long wallet. So it's like no in between for me. I, I really like the, the small ones or the really long ones. Um, so yeah, this will be my last Chanel small wallet. Next two pieces are jewelry pieces and it is um, this Tiffany & Co bead bracelet. I got it in the sterling silver and honestly, I regret it because I, okay, here's the thing. Again, I love this bracelet. I think it's great like add on to if you want, if you'd like to layer your arm with a bunch of different bracelets. I love wearing this bracelet, but lately I'm just so tired of like cleaning it. It tarnishes really, really fast. And like every time I go to clean it, it's kind of like, I kind of have to be fragile with it because the beads, like I feel like I'm gonna break the bracelet if I'm just like going really rough with it. Um, so yeah, I haven't been wearing it lately just because I don't feel like cleaning it. I clean this thing so much and it just, I don't know, it just tarnishes way easier than my other designer um, accessories. So I just, I'm honestly just kind of annoyed at this bracelet, but if you don't mind cleaning it constantly, um, like jewelry like that, then go for it. It's an amazing piece. I really do like it. Again, I'm not gonna get rid of it, but it just sucks that I, I just get annoyed when I have to like clean it all the time. And it's the same for my David Yurman cable bracelets. Again, love David Yurman. I just took out two, but I have like several of these cable bracelets with like the different color um, stone, the different color stones at the end. Um, but again, with these, they seem to tarnish really, really fast and cleaning these aren't as like fragile as the Tiffany one. So I can tolerate these a bit more just cause they're like, you know, they're just like cable bands, they bend and like stretch and stuff. So it's not that bad. It's just, I just find it more annoying um, because a lot of my other luxury pieces um, they don't tarnish as fast and then of course the real ones don't tarnish at all um, Which is why I tend to go towards wearing more fine jewelry instead of like the sterling silver pieces I've just been turned off over the years and I feel like it's because of pieces like this where I'm just like Ugh, I don't want to bother with it and there you have you guys that is all for my worst luxury purchases again honestly the only one that i've shared that i really truly just regret and despise and i'm so mad about are these chanel ballerina flats like i leave me comments down below if you guys know if there's even anything that i can do with this right shoe um otherwise i guess these will just be like my beater shoes i guess like where i just wear it to I don't know, the park or something. I don't know. 
I'm just so upset about it because uh, it was just a lot of money for those shoes. But anyways, everything else, like I said, it's not that I don't love it. I just feel like I should have considered maybe a different option or style. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think of the pieces that I included. If you guys have similar or different experiences than I do. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys.